No, like I'm like if got one big one. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. So this video is still down at Kentucky Lake, but we've moved down to Paris Landing for the ACA Big Bass Bash tournament type deal. So you only have to fish for one big bite in this tournament. We're not going for a best five. It's not a cumulative weight between both days. There is four different weigh sessions each day of this two day tournament. So there's pretty much eight opportunities for you to get first through 10th place. So pre pretty much it's, it's not, I don't wanna say it's easy to win because there's over 500 boats fishing in it. So it's still very difficult to do, but all you really need is one big bite. So we're fishing a little bit differently in this one. We're not going for a limit of fish. So Noah and I had to go fish on a different boat since his boat motor was having issues in the FLW tournament. We could not fish out of his boat anymore. And so I was fishing with Aaron and Jake in this tournament. We went out and pre-fished day one and this is kind of how that all went down. So you cutting your line yet? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, how's it coming over there? I mean, we're coming to the worst house. Probably not going to that It's not like it's not coming out. Got one. Big and dude. Oh, it came off. Oh, I told you they eat the jig though, baby. That's fine. They probably eat the oh. Sure didn't happen. So right here, we're fishing this main lake point. We're trying to duplicate the pattern that Nolan and I had going for the uh, the FLW tournament. And all we keep catching are these freaking drum. Uh, so it, it's still a ton of fun. I'll just show a couple of those clips really quick. Dude, there's this is the best point that I've fished this entire week. No, like I'm like if got one big and oh, yeah. big, big and baby. This is the best point I fished all week. I told you. Oh, wow, you really do get all up in there. Oh, it's a drum. That <laughs> yeah, was a big and you're right. Oh, sh sorry, man. Ah, uh, that makes you feel a little better because then the other one could have been a drum. Ah, uh, look at that ugly. That's a what do they call those? Like southern smallmouth. It's a little two three pound drum. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here. Hey, this is still fun though. Like, as long as it's not a tournament, I don't care about catching drum. Like, that's that's fine with me. They're fun. Got one. Oh, it's a big one. This is a big one. It's a bass, dude. No, but the drum. <laughs> Oh, we're on the drum pattern today, boys. It's still fun. Well, if you would throw a jig like I told you to, you could. I don't could... have a setup to throw a jig, pal. <sighs> oh, there she goes. But day one of pre fishing was pretty unproductive. Literally, all we caught was drum. I don't think we landed a single bass in day one of pre fishing. Uh, day two of pre-fishing, I actually caught like a four and a half and a couple three pounders and Aaron caught a nice one too, but I somehow deleted that footage. I don't know where that SD card went or how, I don't know how I lost the footage, but it's gone. But we did figure something out day two. We we're catching these fish in like six to eight feet of water on a jig. And that's pretty much what we were planning on doing for day one of this event. And now for this video, I finally got another Grand Valley boat to run a GoPro for pretty much the whole day. So they're pre-fishing day two also went similar but they figured out a different pattern they were catching them on a main lake bank uh lucas caught this fish right here yeah, yeah real in real in it's by you i hope so yeah, that's a good one that's a good one He got it. Eight. He's not coming, going anywhere. I don't think. How big is it? I don't know. That's pretty good. Like coming up right here. Nope. 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 Gosh, why is he he's just hiding? Oh, he's not as big as I thought, but no, he's still he's a good fish. He's hiding behind, underneath it. Good job. <laughs> Look at that red eye, it's just gone. gone. So they were catching some big fish out on the main lake. We were fishing like secondary points with jigs and in like a mid depth too. So we were both fishing in about six feet of water. So we found similar things, but they're on the main lake. And that's what we had going into day one of this tournament now. All right, boys. We're looking for one big old bass. 
one big old seven pounder. Got one? That on the trap, baby. <gasps> yeah, there you go. No. Oh, did he come off? Right. Oh, shit, man. He wasn't he wasn't like a giant, but he would have kept though. Nice fish, man. Shit. So day one of the tournament, and they're not eating jigs at all. Jake actually picked up a rattle trap right there. He lost that like two, three pounder or so. And that started keying us in on that bite, which that and then also as you're about to see, Lucas and them are about to put on a freaking slug fest. There's one. That. Nah. Good one. Good one. He's beefy, but yeah, probably. I thought just keep moving up, kind of, because I think it's pretty flat the whole way. Got him. Oh, you. Did you see it hit it? You got one? Yeah, I'm hooked up. That's it. I don't know. I don't think it's a little. Probably. Oh, oh my god, oh my god that's a tank. Don't come off, don't come off. Get him. Yeah! Look at the gut on him. Yeah! Oh my god. Is it get it in the live well quick? <laughs> Come here, big girl. Oh, no. <laughs> I got her. <laughs> she ain't got much she's of length, but dude, she's got like a rugby ball stuck in her belly. 696. 696. Same one. You could win the seven. Oh, wait. It's six. Eight pounds, the one the first session. Got him. He's got him, dude. You want to net it? Hey, yeah. net. Hang on, we got, we're hooked up. Be big. Oh, there's a three and a half. That was, oh, hey, no, no. You got him? Yeah. Get the net, get the net. Dude, it was fucking jump. It's probably gone, dude. It's probably gone dude. It was jumping. It was. What are you red eye off the bottom? Oh Dude, it was jumping. I saw it too. I still got him. You got him. Yeah. You got him. Get the net. Get the net. Is it big? Oh my god, it is big. I have a giant backlash in my line. <laughs> oh gosh. I don't know, dude. It's like three and a half. Good night. I was handlining it for the long Small jaw. That's a bigger than three and a half. Hell yeah, baby! <laughs> Dude, baby. That's the stupidest shit. That's the dumbest shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Hold that up. That's the dumbest thing. Pete, that we're gonna toss your smallie. <laughs> so their boat's absolutely slamming them on lipless crankbaits in Alabama rigs. They actually end up catching 27 pounds for their best five this day. That fish that Lucas caught was 7.27 pounds or something. He actually won the day two session, which he won like a, a jack plate that's worth like $1,200, like a $200 gift card and a life vest or something. I don't know. They were giving out so many prizes. And uh, I think that they ended up cashing in like three times that day and, and different prizes. And then we also had another boat who got second place in the session. So he won a $400 Cabela's gift card. Uh, that's Lance. I'm going to show him weighing in his fish really quick right this here. This last session after we get through with this little deal here. And then it'll get busy for that last. And then 132. Be for the day. 132. Yes, sir. Still got an 894 to take the lead. I've got a t shirt to give away. You need to have a good solid five to get in the money right now. Put that one in there. I believe that's a good solid five plus. What do you think is going to weigh? Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. I'll go with you. 
628. That's a pretty solid guess. 628. Get that out. Show it to Kevin. Hold it up high. There you go. Good job. All right. Um. And then later on in the day, after hearing, you know, what they were doing and stuff, we started switching up. We started hitting those main lake banks and throwing rattle traps, throwing Alabama rigs, and we started catching some fish right here. Yeah, it's a dink. It's a dinker. We're just skier right across the top of the water. Oh, biggins catching nothing but biggins so we got our grand valley bass team right here it's uh me aaron and jake and we're catching these dudes right here pretty dope i mean pretty pretty large size bass on these little red uh lipless crankbaits and then we got our other grand valley bass team which i might be putting some clips into this video uh catching seven pounders and whatnot so i mean pretty comparable results for doing the exact same thing uh I don't know. They they found the money the money spot. Hopefully they they win some stuff today, and hopefully we run into a five pounder here eventually. I mean, why not? I got it. Yeah, big one. Is it a big one? Oh, it's a pretty good one. It's a pretty good one. She might go fifteen. Don't know if we want to weigh that one, but uh, you can toss her in the well if she's 15 and you feel like it. Oh! oh! Is it a fish? Yeah. Is it a big one? It's pretty big. Where's the net? It, it looked right. very big, the way it hit. I haven't seen it. Keep, dude, don't. Oh, baby. Get her in here. Ooh, oh, baby. Are we recording? We're recording. Oh, it's an. Oh, it's a big old smallmouth. It's a big old smallmouth. It's a. It's a big old smallie. She ain't that big, but you could probably put that one in the well. That's a nice fish. That's a three pounder. She might be exactly three. You don't know. Or she, no, she's got to be more than three though. She 18 inches. I told you to throw the A rig. Are you glad you listened to me? Yeah, this is a good stretch right here. That's a nice fish right there, dude. That's 18. Oh, you make sure I forgot about that. Oh, uh, here. That's she now she'd be close though, to be honest. She's fat. She's so stocky and fat that she looks bigger than she is. I think. Yeah, look, look, she's. Oh, that's it's yes, yeah, that's eighteen, right? Barely though. Geez. Barely, that's what I'm saying. She looks bigger because she's so fat. <laughs> that's a dude. That's a nice fish. So Aaron caught that one smallmouth. I think we ended up putting on a hand scale. It was like three and three quarter pounds. Like it was a pretty good fish, but after seeing all the weights for uh, the first two sessions, we decided not to even weigh it. He didn't want to go up on the stage because we knew for a fact that it wasn't going to win any prizes. We would rather, you know optimize our time in the water and try to catch another big fish like over five pounds because that's what it was taking to win day one so he did catch a nice small mouth it was over the 18 inch limit but we ended up just letting that fish go so that's pretty much how the big bass tournament went for us we did not fish day two because uh aaron and jake had to get back to grand rapids so we only fished that first day didn't win any prizes well our boat personally didn't win any prizes i think grand valley ended up having like six or seven boats uh take home some sort of prize which is freaking awesome because we only had, I think, three teams down there. Uh, like nine guys for three. We had like three boats with three guys in it. So we had like nine people fishing and we took home like seven prizes, which there was over 500 kids there, like I said. So the fact that we took like seven of those spots with a pretty small team comparison to a lot of the other teams is a pretty good accomplishment for us. Next year, uh, they'll probably have these two tournaments, hopefully lined up in the same time of year. I mean, I'm assuming it won't be as flooded. It'll probably be very different conditions, but it's nice to be able to get down there, fish both of these, pretty much get a really good view of Kentucky Lake, fish it for an entire week, and next year I won't be going into it as blind as I was this year, because this year I literally had no idea. It was pretty much, like I said, one of the first times I fished such a big reservoir, and it's the first time I've ever been on Kentucky Lake in my entire life, so... Next year, fishing the FLW Open again, I'm sure, and I um, should be fishing that big bass tournament as well. So. so it should be an even better event for us next year, and I'm really looking forward to that one along with all the other FLWs and Bassmasters I'm fishing this year. But uh, if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. A uh, ton more tournament videos coming your way, and I just caught the second biggest bag of fish that I've ever caught in Michigan, and that video should be released sometime next week or this weekend-ish. Don't know for sure, but 
when you catch 25 pounds of bass up in Michigan, it's uh, going to be a pretty sweet video. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, hopefully you guys subscribe and you, you guys want to see that video. Um, if you're from the Midwest or Michigan area, you should know that's like a mega bag for up here. I mean, down south, you know, you catch 25 pounds, everyone. That's still pretty good for down there, but up here, that's almost unheard of, especially for largemouth in 38 degree water. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you guys next time. Uh oh. Ooh, I did it on purpose. <laughs> I really wanted to cast in that tree. Really just wanted to launch this bait in the tree. <laughs>